a young Hannibal Lecter counsels FBI profiler Will Graham. Is this therapy or a, a support group? It's whatever you need it to be. But the agent confesses to the psychiatrist of his empathy for serial killers. You can assume your point of view, or mine and maybe some other points of view that scare him. The two become unlikely friends as they try to stop a killing spree in Hannibal. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Kevin. And I'm Sean. And we're going to talk about Hannibal, the new show from NBC. We've gotten a chance to view the first three episodes. We've all just seen it. Kevin, who's behind this show? Well, it's Brian Fuller, who's known for some kind of quirky shows like Dead Like Me, Wonderfalls, and... Pushing Daisies! Pushing Daisies. <laughs> I think this actually fits nicely into that, except for it's a lot darker and a lot weirder. The main cast, we have Hugh Dancy playing Will Graham, and we have Mads Mikkelsen, the famous Danish actor, who is playing Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Then we have Carolyn Dabernis as Dr. Alana Bloom, and we have Lawrence Fishburne, who plays Agent Jack Crawford. NBC's put a lot of faith in this show. It's They're treating it basically like a cable show. There's 13 episodes in the first season, but every subsequent season will also be 13 episodes. So it's just like an HBO show like The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're thinking this is a big deal for them, something well, a little bit different than a typical everyday NBC show. Not only that, but they bypassed the regular pilot process, and this, this basically just went straight to, to production. It, it really does feel like nothing that is on network television anyway, and I really did feel like, wow, oh, this is really HBO or Showtime, and almost to the point where I was surprised that they were going to get away with some of what they put on screen is it's pretty graphic. It's a violent show. I mean, it, it, it might make some people queasy who are typically tuning in to, to shows on NBC in the normal primetime hour, <laughs> but the gamble paid off because it's a solid show. The show is actually hard to categorize because it's sometimes it seems like a procedural, sometimes it seems kind of like an ongoing story. I particularly don't like procedurals, so I was a little worried about it, and actually it shifted into just kind of a weird story and that one procedural thing they're investigating travels through a number of different episodes. I, I was thinking that they couldn't do this sort of serial killer of the week thing. That's why I was afraid right. they were going like, <laughs> the pilot has a serial killer, then episode two has another serial right. killer, and we're just going to get a different serial killer every episode, but then the third episode does spin it and does something differently. Well, what's so. nice, yeah, they have like mini arcs. Like some of the arcs are a two episode or a three episode arc. Then there's a longer one that's going to be like a season arc. And I think that that's nice that you've got a couple different threads to follow. Hugh Dancy, who plays Will Graham, is very convincing in his role. I really like watching him when he's just sort of being his day-to-day -day character. There are some moments where he's asked to be very emotional so that we can really, like, feel his pain, I think, as an audience member and, and, and empathize. And those moments don't come off quite as convincing to me, especially in the pilot. I just feel like he's, he's set up to be this, you know, this sort of hero character, and some of that seems a little bit heavy-handed, but... Generally speaking, I think he's he's really good. He's layered. He's interesting. Yeah, he's played a similar character in a movie called Adam, where he was had Asperger's, and I think they even mentioned that he's mildly yeah. Asperger's in this. So he was more of a kind of a likable character in that film. And here, you know, there's there's such a darkness to him, even though he is the hero, which I find really fascinating. It's mm -hmm. interesting to see him sort of he he is on that line between kind of genius and madness, mm -hmm. where. One little thing could probably tip him off into being just as bad as some of the serial killers that he's investigating. And, and Hugh Dancy plays that really well. I, I don't know this kind of psychopath. I've never read about him. I don't even know if he's a psychopath. He's not insensitive. He's not shallow. You know something about him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said this is an apology. What is he apologizing for? He couldn't honor her. He feels bad. Well, feeling bad defeats the purpose of being a psychopath, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Then what kind of crazy is he? And you have Mads Mikkelsen playing Hannibal Lecter. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard to fill the shoes of Anthony Hopkins, but you got people filling the shoes of people who've done this before. Hugh Dancy's filling William Peterson and Edward Norton, and so Mads Mikkelsen has to take over for the great Anthony Hopkins. But he's not just a serial killer, and they do that very well in this show. He's a you know, manipulating people. He's these mind games that he's playing with Will Graham and with other characters. Mm -hmm. It was great to see that. I was afraid that it would just kind of come down to jokes about cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. This is a pretty interesting character. I imagine what you see and learn touches everything else in your mind. Your values and decency are present, yet shocked at your associations, appalled at your dreams. No thoughts in the bone arena of your skull for things you love. I really liked his performance as well. However, 
he's so kind of creepy and strange, and no one comments on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, come on, he's a little weird. At least if somebody had said, yeah, he's kind of a little weird, yeah, but, you know, he's really good at what he does, so, would have been fine. We should talk about the directing of the show, which I think really looks like a big budget feature. It's very glossy, really well shot. The first three episodes were done by David Slade and Michael Reimer, who've had a lot of history with big budget features. They put a lot of money, or at least a lot of talent behind mm-hmm. this, and, and it, it looks fantastic. The art direction was very unusual in the show. You had things with mushrooms and funguses that you should never see. <laughs> I just thought it was very well done, very unique. There's a lot of dream imagery. Um, it almost felt to me kind of Twin Peaksian in style. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaksian. Yes, but Brian Fuller is a big fan of Twin Peaks, so I think you know he took that aesthetic and kind of ran with that. And I thought it was really effective. I thought it was really interesting to watch. This is not a show for delicate viewers, but I think it will develop a very loyal cult-like following. I give it a see it. This is a compelling, really weird, but really intriguing show, and I can't wait to see where it goes. So I say see it. It's a bit gruesome for network television, but Hannibal's a pleasant surprise that should please fans of previous Thomas Harris adaptations. See it. Cheers. Who wants to come over to my house for some liver and fava beans? What's, what's in your cup anyways? It's awfully dark. Yes, it is, isn't it?